the drive is an hour, but it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful hour. Knowing I'm going to come here is such a feeling of peace and goodness. So it's, I don't mind the drive. It's wonderful. I love being here. I'm, I work all day if I can. Welcome, tranquil viewers, to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. Have you ever visited a sweet home for farm animals where they all dine on delectable vegan food? Today, in the conclusion of a two-part series, we will be meeting more of the happy vegan residents of the largest farm animal sanctuary in the Midwestern United States. This magical place is known as Sasha, Sanctuary and Safe Haven for Animals Farm. For me, the most amazing part of being here is being outside with the animals every day um, and in all the seasons, all the weather, and um, you almost become one with the animals. Located in Manchester, Michigan, the 60-acre Sasha Farm was founded by vegans Dorothy Davies and Monty Jackson. Taking in abandoned, neglected, and or abused farm animals is Sasha's mission and currently there are over 200 animals joyfully enjoying the fresh air and wide spaces of the sanctuary. As Dorothy Davies and Monty Jackson believe all life is sacred, only vegan food is served to the farm animals. Tell me Dorothy, how did Sasha Farm get started? People started to bring the animals because they knew I wouldn't eat them. And after about a hundred animals, I thought, I have to give up my job and, and take care of these animals and find a way to support them. So I formed the nonprofit and I retired. I was a librarian and we have been going strong ever since. You know, it's been about, we're on our 11th year now in business. There is a 17 member strong team of volunteers who come throughout the week and help out Dorothy Davies and Monty Jackson and the sanctuary's three employees with care of the animals. How often do you come to Sasha Farm to volunteer and what do you do when you come here? Um, my husband is actually the main worker. He's very handy so he helps Monty on special projects which usually happen in the spring and the summers. I usually watch the kids and uh, help feed the animals and um, my husband is the one that, that will put up fences when they're broken or help build uh, rebuild the barns if, if something needs repair. What I do here is just uh, farm work. Anything that needs to be done. If it's cleaning, anything, mucking, grooming the animals, um, walking the dogs, feeding, lots of feeding. All the animals are fed uh, twice a day. And sometimes it takes all day, depending on how many volunteers I have here. If I'm just, if I'm the only one, because I come on Sundays, so usually not a lot of people here on Sundays, by the time I'm finished feeding, it's time for dinner. <laughs> and if we have any young ones that are being bottle fed, that, that's time for feeding too. So, feeding, cleaning, grooming, medication, things like that. And if, if I'm feeling really lazy, sometimes I just cuddle. <laughs> Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So the gloves are not leather. My shoes are not leather. So tell me, Chris, how did you hear about Sasha Farm, and how did you end up working here? I actually heard about Sasha Farm through um, a vegan lecturer who his name is Gary Urofsky. And uh, I went and saw one of Gary's lectures, and uh, he told me about Sasha Farm. And uh, I was interested in interning for, uh, for Sasha, and I got the internship, and then later they, they employed me. So are you a vegan? I am vegan, yep. How long have you been a vegan? I've been vegan for 10 years. Bob Harvey, the chairman of Sasha's farm board of directors and a vegan, now introduces a beautiful turkey named Gandalf. Gandalf's life was spared by a person who intended to slaughter him for the Thanksgiving holiday that is celebrated in the United States each November. Come on out, come on out. Hey, it's great. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. You gotta turn around so they can see you.
Somebody was hand raising him apparently for dinner and didn't want to eat him. An unfortunate trend in the U.S. is people adopting adorable baby potbelly pigs as animal companions and then later abandoning them when they become adults and very large in size. These are our potbelly pigs. They started, these guys started out life as pets, most of them. Uh, they were people were getting them, uh, buying them for pets. And when they're really small, they're about the size of a dog or a puppy. So um, they work out quite well in a house and they can be litter box trained. But when they get to be 100 pounds, 150 pounds, they're not so much health pets. This is how we got most of them, almost all of them. We get phone calls from private owners that they, they get the pig and the pig is too big for them or they can't take care of it anymore or whatever. So we get a lot of different, uh, there's a lot of different reasons why they can't take care of them anymore. But uh, we, they bring them, uh, we bring them out here. We've had five or six of them from a, uh, from a pot belly pig rescue. And they were just breeding and the, the, uh, the breeding farm was shut down by the main society. This is Precious. One of our supporters found, was driving down the expressway and saw Precious running along the side of the expressway. She, we figured she'd fallen out of the truck Aww. because she was all bruised on her face. She was just a little thing. She only weighed about 25 pounds at the time. German is a Eurasian wild boar. About a mile away from here, there was about four of four uh, boars that were loose. And uh, by the time Monty got up there, this was the only one that was left. Uh, this is Charlotte. Charlotte was being raised by somebody and didn't want to send her off to slaughter. So they brought her here to the farm. She was somebody's pet for a while. This is Tallulah. Tallulah loves to have her belly rub. Tallulah was found on the street down in Indiana, on a rural street down in Indiana, yeah. Yeah, by about four or five girls. And they brought her up her, brought her up here because they didn't want to see her go to all back to the pig farm or wherever she'd come from. She'd probably gotten loose from the pig farm. But uh, like a lot of these big pigs, they love to have their bellies rubbed. And actually, sometimes when they're stressed, you can rub their bellies and it just calms them right down. It's like giving them a little massage. Good girl. This is Leo. Leo was rescued um, from the pig farm where we get our straw. The pig farmer had him and Monty wanted to give Dorsey a, Dorothy a birthday present. You can see how big these guys do. Well, how much do they weigh? Leo right there is probably worth around somewhere between 800 and 1,000 pounds. What do the pigs enjoy eating for their daily meals? It's a special mixture that they get from the granary. It's, uh, it, it's, it, it gives the pigs all of the vitamins and, and nutrients that they need. And we just give them a little bit, maybe a couple of cups each so that they don't get overfed again, but we just give them enough so that they've got enough to eat. And they seem to be fairly happy and they're getting along. We don't want to overfeed them because one of the things that these big pigs have a problem with is the heavier they get, the bigger the problem they have with our, things like arthritis. Their back ends, can't, they can't get up. And when they can't get up, their, their quality of life is gone. And if they were in a feedlot, that's all they want to do is overfeed them so that they can get them to market weight as quickly as possible. Yeah. We end our day at Sasha Farm with a parting thought from one of the dedicated volunteers. You come here and you leave with such a peaceful soul. Your soul just really absorbs it. You, if you could, you could be grumpy when you come, but not when you leave. For providing such a splendid, caring home to vulnerable animals, with all love and gratitude, Supreme Master Ching Hai is honoring Sasha Farm with the Shining World Compassion Award along with 10,000 U.S. dollars. Thank you, Dorothy Davies, for inviting us to visit such a place of happiness and our appreciation, Sasha Farm staff and volunteers, for sharing your wonderful experiences at the farm with us. May all the animal residents continue to lead healthy and contented lives at this model sanctuary. For more details on Sasha Farm, please visit www.sashafarm.org. Gentle-hearted viewers, thank you for your company today on our program. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples on Supreme Master Television. May you make a new animal friend today.
For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG.